Okay, so some time ago I created this interesting, kind of intimidating project called the Enchanted Fortress. And I've gotten many comments about this piece. And this is one that I started before we started our YouTube channel. What I'm gonna do is, since this was such a fun project to make, I am going to recreate or make another less sinister version of this enchanted fortress. So behold, the Elvish Tree Fortress. I also wanted to send out a thanks to Heath Falconrath, who commented on our channel recently and suggested we try building some Elvish terrain. So I hope this fits the bill. So let's get right to it and I'll show you how I made it. Okay, I have chosen two branches that are a little bit clunky together right now. <clears throat> I have some work to do to get these to fit together, but I'm gonna go with something like this and have a second big branch coming out of this side here. Hopefully I can make it look natural enough. And that should be a decent platform for a tree house. So it'll have a mid-level here, I'll have a staircase up to this level, and then I'll have something else that goes up the rest and maybe goes up underneath. I'm cutting out a random shape of XPS foam here, and this is going to be the base for my structure. What I want to do here is establish a line for a river or a creek that's going to be going through this whole structure here. So I'm just going to freehand this. Okay, now we're going to start removing this material and that's going to be our creek bed. Generally speaking, the creek bed is going to be a little bit deeper in the middle and obviously it's flowing downstream, so we want to make this, you know, deeper and deeper as we go. After removing the material for the creek, I'm going to start working on the cliffs around the outside of the piece. You can see that I've created these granite slabs here, so I want to try and recreate that on the new piece. Now it's time to start melting some foam with my favorite chemical, Nasdar. And again, if you don't have this chemical, which you probably won't, just use nail polish or acetone. Both work really well. I'm cutting a hole in the center of my base where I'm gonna glue the tree trunk. Now it's time to coat the entire base with a layer of Mod Podge and black paint. I've decided on the color schemes for the base here, so I'm going to start with a burnt umber, then we're going to do a light wet brush of pewter gray, and then we're going to finish it off with a granite gray dry brush. While I'm letting that layer of paint dry, I'm going to go ahead and paint the creek bed here, starting with a dark blue, and then we're going to go with two other lighter shades. Before I get to the granite gray dry brush, I decided to add a little raw umber to the hillside here. I thought it would give it a nice earthy tone. Now the entire base is ready for a black wash. Not including the tree, we're just doing the base here.
I've decided to incorporate a green wash over the black wash. I just thought that this would give the hillside a nice green look as if there are plants growing. I'm ready to flock the base now, so I'm using a PVA glue, and I'm also going to be applying a brown colored grout, which will look like dirt. I made this wood platform out of coffee stirring sticks, so this will serve as the mid-level platform of the Elvish Tree Fortress. I had to use this spiral staircase that I found on the internet and print it out on my 3D printer. I was just going to use coffee stirring sticks, but this is going to look way better. I've decided to give this air dry clay a try with my 3D printed texture rollers. I think it's going to give me a much better result than I get using just regular Dollar Tree foam. To keep the clay from sticking to my roller, I've got to use baby powder here, and then I can go ahead and roll the pattern. Using a tin can, I'm just going to wrap the clay around the outside, and this will become the base for my elf hut. Next, using the top part of a used water bottle, I'm just breaking up some dollhouse shingles here to make the roof for the hut. The paint scheme on the elf's hut is going to start with a tan base, and then we're going to go over that with a dry brush of white, and then we will blackwash it. I'm gluing these precast windows and doors onto the front of the hut here, and these were just 3D printed. rolled up and painted piece of tin foil is used to cap the top of the roof. Next I'm going to be texturing some Dollar Tree foam with my wood grain roller. After that I'm going to cut half inch strips and then cut those down into four inch lengths. The strips are then going to be glued all the way around the outside of the top platform. Then I'm going to use textured wood tongue depressors as wood planks for the platform. Next I'm going to carve a pattern in the wood structure around the top of the platform and then we're going to go ahead and get all this painted up. I'm using golden brown here to paint the top of the wood structure and then I'm going to go over that with the burnt umber acrylic ink. I looked up Elvish Dagger online and I found this 3D printed file, which I thought would be really interesting to decorate the top of this platform. I think I'm going to use about seven of these and hot glue them to the outside of the wood structure. After that, I'm going to paint up the spiral staircase with the metallic bronze and burnt umber. I ended up printing two of these, one for the base and the second one to connect the mid platform to the top structure. 
So interestingly, I tried to take the top of a soda bottle and make this gazebo structure. And what I realized is that I cannot spray paint the foam because it melts. So this one went in the trash. Go figure, I was going through some of my stuff and I found this giant googly eye and I thought this could actually become the top of the gazebo structure. So after adding this little strip of foam on the bottom, I'm going to paint this up and then just make some posts for the gazebo with my XPS foam and we'll get all the pieces put together. After a coat of metallic bronze, I think this turned out pretty good for a googly eye. One of the final touches on the platform is going to be this elvish gateway that I 3D printed. So I'm going to give this a coat of metallic bronze and I think this is going to be a really nice detail. Now it's time to put some finishing touches on this piece, including some flocking, and we're also going to work on the water feature. We're going to use a two-part epoxy glaze coat, and we're actually going to be adding some blue food coloring to this as well. I'm going to be using some little river rocks and construction sand for the base of the creek. And here's the end result. After letting the bubbles settle down, we actually get a nice water feature. I'm getting close to the end of the build here, so I'm just going to add these final features, which include a bridge over the creek, and then I'm adding some clump foliage here, and I've also got some other little greens that I'm going to add for detail. I decided on adding one last dry brush of white to really bring out the edges of the rocks. I hope you enjoyed this video of my Elvish Treehouse Fortress. Feel free to send me any comments on this project if you like, and of course, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you next week with another build or challenge.